going to the coffee shop, going to meet parents, going to, uh, what else could we be going to do? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Sierra here. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a look into what my week looked like in terms of outfits and also in hopes to maybe inspire you guys with helps on choosing what you want to wear for the week if you need help in that area. And these are all very, very practical looks. Because for the most part, I really don't leave the house to be quite honest with y'all. Um, unless I'm like going to the grocery store or filming or, you know, taking pictures. But for the most part, you know, I'm a full-time YouTuber. So I'm in the house for the most part, you know, I'm creating content. Y'all yeah, know I use my little fire escape sometimes. That's like the closest I get to outside sometimes. So if you work from home, and you're also a flat guy like me, these are some outfit ideas for you and me. Because I always learn something about myself when I'm making these videos. <laughs> All right, getting to the first look. You guys know how much I love oversized on oversized on oversized. I feel like it is the best, most easiest way to look really, really just cool and like with the times. Um, I am just wearing this boxy UCLA top by Judy Watanabe. It was in my five things I regret video. But as I told y'all, I'm like, I'm still gonna keep it around. I feel like you could achieve this look with like any really oversized pieces in your closet. What I like to do, y'all already know, go to the men's sections. And I would say whatever size you are, just size one to two sizes bigger, and you can achieve an oversized on oversized look too. I just think it's really fun when you can play with proportions and you shouldn't be afraid. You know, you never know what may work for you. And as for jeans, I'm just wearing my jeans from Uniqlo. If you guys are looking for any just like really wide leg pants, I would say definitely go to Uniqlo. And then as far as accessories goes, y'all know I like to keep it very simple, very basic. Because this, this, you know, sweatshirt, this UCLA sweatshirt is saying, you know, UCLA on it. I felt not the need to wear a necklace. Although I have worn this with a necklace, but when I do, I like to leave it tucked in and you can just only see a little peek, you know what I'm saying? But today I didn't feel like putting on a necklace. I just chose to put on my Sophie Buhai earrings. And then for bracelet, I'm just wearing my all blues bracelet, which I love. I'm so happy to have this in my life. Um, always they use all recycled metals for their jewelry and then i'm just wearing my ring that my grandmother got me gave me um honestly it's not really my style but because my grandmother gave it to me i wear it you know so for the second look i chose to keep it very simple very everyday and this is again another look that i feel like anyone can pull off you can never go wrong with a v-neck sweater a crew neck sweater tucked into your favorite pair of jeans for the sweater that i am wearing i actually thrift this sweater it is 100 percent wool and i just love a v-neck situation with either a t-shirt underneath i think that that combination looks really just sleek and clean also if you don't want to wear a t-shirt if you're fine with having wool up against your skin but still want to add a little bit of dimension to your look or to the sweater that you're wearing more so with a v-neck i would say a really cute little um circle necklace or choker would look really nice just to give it a little bit of a flare and i decided to go with this oatmeal colored sweater because i feel like it really complements my Balenciaga jeans with this look um but i am not one to fray away from color especially in the fall winter months i think that it's very very fun and life like to wear color in the fall and winter so don't be afraid to bring out those coral sweaters and then as far as bottoms like i said go for your favorite pair of bottoms more importantly go for what makes you feel comfortable you know what i'm saying like that is key comfortability uno mas no numero uno numero uno i feel like a straight cut or a more cigarette cut style jean looks really good on most body types and i think it looks really chic with like the sneaker or boot it's just like the right you know length this look is also one of those looks that is easy to go from day to night. And as far as places I've like worn this look or places that I'd wear this look, I would say if you're going to like brunch, put it on with like a fun little pop of color on your lips or you know, to dinner. And if I am going to dinner, I usually will wear this look with a blazer. I would say if you are wearing a lot of like dark colors on top, it would be really nice to break it up with something more clean and crisp like a white leather sneaker. I chose to go for my Isabel Marat sneakers. They are my go-to when I want to look a little bit more elevated for the day. And uh, yeah, this is look number two. All right, y'all, so for this next look, this is a look for days when you want to be a little bit more jazzy. If you have like, I don't know, I want to say, I don't know, not a holiday. 
holiday party is with me. I don't think we're gonna be having any of those anytime soon. A hot date. A hot date. A hot movie. We won't. We don't have to have movie theaters open. Why am I even making this video? Where are we going, y'all? Okay, yeah, your Zoom date. Okay, this is a look for a Zoom date. Just wearing a button up that I got thrifting. I really like the proportion of this button up. I remember my friend Gina when we were in high school. She had like cut her. She, she had bought like a button up from the thrift store and she had cut it, cropped it, and it was super, super cute. And this kind of reminds me of that. She was like, this is actually the first person I've seen wear a cropped button up. Shout out to you, Gina. This look is easy to cover any thing that you want to cover because you don't see what's going on, especially under something so boxy as like a button up. And then for jeans, I just chose to opt for a baggier pair of jeans because I don't know y'all, I just feel like baggier, baggier style jeans just look more chic to me than like a tight fit jean. I don't know, sometimes I feel like with tight jeans, it's hard, sometimes hard not to look like a skater dude, you know? Although, you know, some people can pull it off, the Harry Styles can pull it off, you know, the, the uh, ASAP Rockies can pull it off. But for me anyway, I just think it's something that is just so far removed, I think, from what society says is sexy. And if society doesn't label it as sexy, then it's cool. So that's why I chose to go for a baggy pair of pants. And then as far as shoes, I chose to go with a pointed little mule that I have. Again, really fun, cute, little quirky, chic way to elevate your look. As you guys can see, I'm super casual throughout my outfit with the button up and the jeans. And obviously I can wear sneakers, but I think it's something so unexpected when you pair something so casual with something just so dressy and just something that is also so refreshing. Yeah, you guys, this is look number tres. And as I always say, let me know what you guys rate these looks one through 10 down in the comments. All right, you guys, so for this next look, I think that this look is perfect for any like little holiday get together that you have with family. I think that it's super, super cozy. You can never go wrong with a wool, wide leg, flouncy like pant. I think that it just adds movement to any look. You look very nice, shashang from the eggnog to the Christmas cookies with your very flouncy, flowy pots. Obviously it's winter time, so I feel like most people opt for a sweater. I chose to opt for this Helmut Lang sweater that I am so happy that I got. It is very, very beautiful and it's actually one of my go-tos every darn week, either with jeans or pants. It's so relieving once you find that go-to sweater that just like works with almost anything and it just takes the thought, the thinking out of your day because you can just always go to that piece. Um, I'll try to have this one linked down below in case anyone wants you know, to check it out. But the little detail that it has in the back, even the way it scoops a little bit lower in the back, I absolutely love. And um, yeah, I think that it looks really, really nice with these wide leg pants. And I think that to look very mature, very much so, I got my life together. Go for a pointed toe mule, okay? I'm keeping the same mule along that I have with the previous look because I just think that it looks super mature and just super I know what I'm doing when it comes to putting on clothes. This look, I feel like it's all about the texture, the feels, I'm wearing cashmere, I'm wearing wool, I'm wearing like a little velour on the shoe. So don't be afraid to play with texture. Winter time, you know, you think of, you know, comfort foods, you think of soft things, you think of snow, you think of texture. So why not recreate that with your clothes? All right, y'all, so this next look, getting kind of lazy here. All I did was take off the sweater, but I put on my Jean-Paul Gaultier blazer. Y'all know I just thrifted that. I'll link my little thrift haul video in case you haven't seen that. And for this look, I would say go for your best well-fitted blazer. This one is mine because as you can see, it's giving you silhouette, it is stitched in the waist. And I feel like a blazer that stitches in the waist especially looks good with a wide leg pant in and then out, which I think looks very flattering on the body. So for this look, honestly, it kind of is giving, you know, waiter type vibes, not gonna lie. But, you know, you can look at it that way or, you can look at it as a very, you know, put together, going to the coffee shop, going to meet parents, going to, uh, what else can we be going to do? Going to a meeting, going to a Zoom meeting, 
type of a look, okay? This is what it is to me anyway. Obviously, you know, you can never go wrong with a button up and a blazer. And you know, to give it a little bit of more sexiness, a little bit of a little peek -a boo don't be afraid to, you know, unbutton a couple buttons. I, you know, have like my little chest out just so you know I'm a woman and I'm proud. And uh, as far as blazer, I am going for a black blazer because, not that it's the only blazer that goes that's in my closet, but I just feel like it just looks really clean. I love like a monochromatic look. I think that is the, you know, perfect way to look very, you know, sleek and clean. I've been saying that so much throughout this video, but it's the truth. And my favorite part about wearing a button up and blazer is pairing it with jeans. Because I feel like pairing it with jeans is so unexpected. Typically when you think of a blazer and a button up, you may think of like a teacher or just really just like formal, formal vibes. But pairing it with a jean obviously will pair it down and also just give you a little bit more lax feeling to your look. And then for shoes, I just chose to wear my ballerina tabbies because it just obviously goes with the look. I'm wearing a black blazer, black shoes, black jeans. It just works. Um, but for this look in particular, I just think that the little flat just worked. I feel like it brings in a more feminine aspect. All right, you guys, getting into this last and final look. I wanna say number seven, but I'm not so sure. I've tried on seven outfits, but I think it's number seven. But for this last look, this is a very just me going around the house, being around the house type of a look. Um, I feel like, you know, with us being home so much, I don't know about you guys, but as for myself, I'm pretty sure for most people, you know, some days with being in the house every day, you wanna put on clothes, you know, one day. You don't wanna do the most because you're in the house, but some days, you know, you wanna kinda feel yourself when you go past the mirror a little bit. You know, you kinda wanna be like, I've always wanted a t-shirt that showed a little bit of my stomach area, which is kind of hard to find because I'm super, super small. So even the shirts that I feel like are meant to be that way aren't that way on me typically because I'm just teeny, teeny, dang. But this shirt, I love that it shows a little bit of my midriff section and um, just a really, you know, fun, little cutesy little way, again, to feel cute in the house. And then as far as pants, obviously you don't have to wear jeans. I know a lot of people don't like to wear jeans in the house. I don't mind wearing jeans in the house. Honestly, it just gets me in this mode of like doing and wanting to do because I'm in something a little bit more hardcore. So it makes me feel like I want to go at it. <sighs> so I am just wearing my Ralph Lauren jeans that I actually thrifted, which is crazy y'all. I don't know who would ever give these up, but um, they are in this beautiful, beautiful wash. This is a very simple look, but I do feel like it is a look indeed because the quality of my garments are just top notch. 100% cotton on the shirt, 100% cotton on the jeans, leather on the sneaker. Y'all know I love my Raph Simmons, Stan Smith um, Adidas. I wear them so, so much because they just bring in this aspect of uh, grunge, so to speak, that I really, really love, or just an aspect of more carefreeness. I guess you can say, because they're just dirty and rugged. So yeah, these are definitely my go-to um, when I have to leave the house, or not even when I have to leave the house, when I you know, just wanna look like I didn't try too hard. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this look and enjoyed all of the looks that I have presented to you guys. If you are inspired in any way by any of the looks that I showed you guys today, please tag me in your Instagram photos, because I definitely wanna see. But yeah, that actually sums up this video. Rate my looks, y'all, down below, one through 10. Y'all know I love y'all feedback. And um, next video is actually gonna be a try on haul with Connor. So do not forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, because y'all don't wanna miss this. I don't wanna miss this, okay? Cannot wait to see what these pieces look like on him. And um, yeah, wanna see you guys in that video. Peace.